from the given problem we get the following conditions now condition 1 boundary condition at one of the end points as in the previous uh, problems y of 0 comma t equal to 0 for all t greater than 0 now condition number 2 another boundary condition at l another end point the displacement is 0 in the string for all t greater than 0 now condition number 3 that is initial velocity that is 0 in the string at any time sorry at any point at a time t equal to 0 do by do t of y of x comma 0 initial condition 0 for all 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l since initial velocity is 0 since initial velocity is 0 at time t equal to 0 this is one initial condition and another initial condition that is a initial displacement in the string that we have find out in the previous class that is in between 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l by 3 in between 0 and l by 3 y is equal to that is a displacement at a time t equal to 0 is equal to 3h by l into x condition number 4 that is y of x comma 0 is equal to now 3h by l into x for Zero less than or equal to x less than or equal to l by three, and now in between l by three and two l by three, displacement at a time t equal to zero throughout the string is a three h by l into l minus a two x. Three h by l into l minus two x for zero. Sorry, l by three less than or equal to x less than or equal to two l by three.
in between 2l by 3 and l the initial displacement at a time t equal to 0 through the string is at any point x that is 3h by l into x minus l 3h by l into <coughs> x minus l in between 2l by 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l so this is initial displacement in the string at a time t equal to 0 at any point x this is condition number 4 in the previous three problems the initial displacement is clearly given in the problem but in this problem so he has not given the initial displacement but he has given some information to find the initial displacement that is a points of trisection of a string are pulled aside that means on both sides the same distance on opposite sides of the position of equilibrium through a constant distance h so both the sides from the equilibrium position above the equilibrium position and below the equilibrium position through a equal distance we pulled the string at the points of a trisection that is at l by 3 and another trisection point is 2l by 3 so and we find out the equations of all the lines by using two point formula finally we get this initial displacement so from this so the solution is the same as in the previous problems 1, 2 and 3. So as in the second and third problems here also I will continue this solution from equation number 5 instead of writing the suitable solution and applying condition number 1, condition number 2, condition number 3 because the solution is the same similar there is no change in the solution of uh, problem number one problem number two and problem number three so here also i will start this problem from equation number five onwards but you should write you should copy the solution from the suitable solution to equation number five in all the solutions of problem number two problem number three and problem number four now the most general solution of equation four can be written as y of x comma t equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l into cos n pi c t by l say this is a equation number 5 this is the most general solution
this is equation number 5 most general solution now we can apply condition number 4 in equation number 5 that is put t equal to 0 now applying Condition 4 in equation 5. We obtain or we get Applying condition number 4 means uh, substituting t is equal to 0. That is y of x comma 0. Put t equal to 0. Sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity. Bn sin n pi x by l into cos n pi ct by l t value is 0 cos of 0 therefore but y of x comma 0 y of x comma 0 so we substituted t equal to 0 now y of x comma 0 is equal to 3h by l into x in between 0 to l by 3 3h by l into l minus 2x in between l by 3 and 2l by 3 3h by l into x minus 2l in between 2l by 3 and l so we substituted these values in the left hand side of y of x comma 0 sigma n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n by x by l into cos of 0 cos of 0 value is 1 b n sin n by x by l should be remained in the right hand side on the left hand side we will substitute y of x comma 0 value this is equal to Sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n by x by l cos 0 is a 1. Therefore, by Fourier series, we have to find the value of bn. The formula to find Bn as explained in the problem number 1. Solution of problem number 1. I will write the formula for B suffix N. To find the value of Bn, we will apply Fourier series. By using Fourier series of f of x, we can find the value of bn. So, by using Fourier series, the Fourier coefficient bn is equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x sin n by x by l dx. But f of x is here y of x comma 0. y of x comma 0. So, but y of x comma 0 is defined in the three sub intervals as explained in condition number 4 that is uh, between 0 to l by 3 and l by 3 to 2l by 3 and 2l by 3 to l3 sub intervals therefore this uh, bn value is uh, 2 by l into integral 0 to 
L by 3 f of x means y of x here sin n by x by l dx plus integral l by 3 to 2 l by 3 as explained in the problem number 1 solution of problem number 1 we are applying for year series but in second and third problems, uh, no need to apply for your series to find the BN value because their uh, displacement, uh, initial displacement is uh, sin pi x by L is uh, in the second problem and uh, sin q pi x by L in the third problem. But here we have to expand BN. by using Fourier series to find the value of bn we have to expand the function f of x or y of x comma 0 by using Fourier series so we are calculating the value of bn by using Fourier coefficient half range Fourier coefficient now another sub interval is a we already wrote plus here no need to write here integral 2L by 3 to L f of x that means y of x comma 0 into sin n pi x by l dx so by the properties of definite integration we divided this uh, integration into three parts because uh, our interval is divided into three sub intervals so by the properties of definite integration so we are writing integration from 0 to l by 3 and integration from l by 3 to 2l by 3 plus 2l by 3 to l f of x sin n by x by l dx here we will substitute the value of f of x that means y of x comma 0 in the interval 0 to l by 3 that is 3h by l into x in the second integration we will substitute the value of f of x that means y of x comma 0 from e condition number 4 that is 3h by l into l minus 2x in the third integral integration between 2l by 3 to l there the f of x means y of x comma 0 is 3h by l into x minus minus l we will substitute this value there in the basic formula of a Fourier coefficient we have f of x so we are using f of x but you understood that here our f of x is y of x comma 0 therefore we will substitute those values and then evaluate these three integrals now that is equal to 2 by L into integral 0 to L by 3 3 H by L into X into sin N pi X by L into dx plus integral l by 3 to 2l by 3 3h by l into l minus 2x 
into sin n by x by l dx plus integral 2l by 3 to l 3h by l into x minus l into sin n pi x by l dx. Now here in all the integrations 3h by l, 3h by l, 3h by l is a common factor. So therefore that is a 2 by l into 3h by L that is 6h by L square and also we will evaluate this integration x into sin n pi x by L by using integration by parts we will evaluate this integration again L minus 2x into sin n pi x by L by using integration by parts we will evaluate this and also third integration x minus l into sin n by x by l will evaluate by using integration by parts by using the arrow marks method in the arrow marks method we will evaluate the x sin n by x by l integration as per I late formula algebra first trigonometry next therefore now derivative of derivative of x and integration of sin n by x by l now derivative of x that is 1 derivative of 1 that is 0 integration of sin that is minus cos n by x by l by coefficient of x is n pi by l it will occur in the denominator in the integration again integration of uh, cos that is sin n by x by l by n pi by l already n pi by l is here so multiplying these two we get n square pi square by l square so therefore already minus is also there now integration of uh, minus cos that is uh, minus sin n pi x by l by n square pi square by l square by using Aramor's integration of x sin n by x by l is multiply these two multiply these two and multiply 0 so 0 into any value is 0 so that's why we are not uh, writing the continuation of uh, the integration sin n by x by l integration we are not writing because 0 into any value finite value becomes a 0 and use the signs alternatively plus and minus here plus here minus here plus so therefore plus and minus so therefore this integration is a minus x cos n by x by l by n pi by l 
minus into minus plus sin n by x by l by n square pi square by l square. This is the integration of uh, first integration. This is the integration of uh, first uh, integration. That is the integration of this one. Next we will find l minus 2x into sin n by x by l integration by using the same rule pilot and apply Aramor's method. Now derivative of x sorry l minus 2x and the integration of sin n by x by l now l minus 2x derivative of l minus 2x is a minus 2 and the derivative of uh, minus 2 is uh, 0 and the sin n by x by l same integration minus cos n by x by l by n pi by l and again Integration of minus cos n by x by l by n pi by l is a minus sin n by x by l by n square pi square by l square as above. Apply the parameters to multiply these two and these two and it will become <coughs> zero alternatively plus minus plus So therefore L minus 2x into minus cos n by x by L by n pi by L minus into minus into minus minus sin n by x by L by n square pi square by L square. This is the integration of a second integrand. Now third integrand that is a x minus L into sin n by x by L. We will apply the same procedure as explained here. Now derivative of x minus L and integration of a sin n by x by L. Derivative of x minus L is a one. Derivative of one is a zero. Now integration of sine minus cos n by x by L by n pi by L again integration of minus cos is a minus sin n pi x by L by n square pi square by L square. Now multiply 
these two and these two and again here alternatively plus minus plus but zero into any finite value is a zero here plus minus plus so this is the integration of a third integrand now substituting the integration of x sin n by x by l l minus 2x into sin n by x by l x minus l into sin n by x by l before that we will take out 3h by l as a common factor that is equal to 2 by l into 3h by l is a 6h by l square bn is equal to Two H two by L into three H by L we are taking as a common factor two by L into three H by L into integration of first integral x into minus cos n by x by l by n pi by l minus into minus plus sin n by x by l by n square pi square by l square minus x into cos n pi x by l by m pi by l minus into minus plus sin n pi x by l by n square pi square by l square limits 0 to l by 3 Lower limit is 0, upper limit is a L by 3. Now second integration, L minus 2x into minus cos n by x by L by n pi by L minus into minus into minus minus 2 times sin n pi x by L by n square pi square by L square but uh, limits l by 3 to 2l by 3 since here the limits are l by 3 to 2l by 3 plus minus l minus 2x into cos n pi x by l by n pi by l minus 2 times sin n pi x by l by n square pi square by L square limits L by 3 to 2L by 3. Now third integration x minus L into minus cos n pi x by L by n pi by L minus into minus plus 1 into sin n pi x by L by n square pi square by L square limits are 2L by 3 to L. Since here, third integration consists of 2L by 3 lower limit, L is a upper limit. Plus 
minus x minus l into cos n pi x by l by n pi by l minus into minus plus sin n pi x by l by n square pi square by l square layer limit is 2L by 3 to L. This is the integration. Now we have to simplify all the terms by applying lower limit and upper limit in each term. 